All right, let's get into our fantasy CFL news. So last week, so this was on my CFL uh, fantasy, and you can sign up. Um, just go to our show notes, and you can sign up. Join us in the CFL fantasy stuff. I swapped. I had uh, this is the lineup I made: Bo Levi Mitchell, one touchdown, two hundred and seventy-six yards. Did okay. Sean Thomas Erlington, 11 points. Meh. But he did get a touchdown. DJ Foster, 15 points. A lot of receiving yards and a touchdown for a running back. That helped me out a lot. Greg Ellingson, a nothing burger. Five points, two catches, 30 yards. Jalen Acklin, I thought was going to... But again, with Dane Evans going out, really kind of screwed me up. Five catches for 48 yards. And Drew Wolotarski... Thought he was going to have a big day. He only three catches for 23 yards. But the BC Lions defense got me 17 points. So I finished the day with um, 78 points. And for the season, uh, let's see how I'm doing. Uh, let's see here. On one of the leagues that I'm in, let's see uh, the CFL writers, CFL News Hub writers. I'm third overall right now. DFS Spreadsheets is number one. Mike Mitchell is two. And the Mark Cast is number four on that list. I'm in third. And then in the other league that I'm in, which is the Hamilton Tiger Cats League, I am, out of 200 members, or 400 members, I am 29th overall. Really? I thought I was terrible. Is that true? Wow. I'm not doing that bad. Nice. So out of 407 members, I am ranked 29th on the Hamilton Tiger Cats in fantasy. So that's pretty good. Don't you think? So what are we going to do about this week's team, my friends? What are we going to do? Not, I'm, sa- I don't have, I'm going to save my bonus money for later. And I used my bonus money before. Vernon Adams Jr., BC Lions, you're going to pay $1,200 for him? I don't think so. Quarterbacks, Cody Fajardo was dealing with a head injury. Is he officially out? He exited with a head injury. We're not really sure what his status is. I would just say stay away from him. Trevor Harris against Winnipeg. I'm not playing against a guy against Winnipeg. Michael Riley against Montreal. I think this is going to be a big scoring game. Who else am I got? Who else am I got? Bo Levi Mitchell, Jeremiah Mazzoli coming back from injury. I got nobody to put up against. Um, I like Michael Riley though. And I think this is going to be a big game. And Vernon Adams Jr. is just higher on the list. I'm putting Michael Riley in. I'm just a little concerned. I'm a little concerned about um, his health status for that game. So keep an eye on keep an eye on Jeremiah Mazzoli. Keep an eye on Cody Fajardo. I think Fajardo. I mean, I hate guys coming out, especially with a head injury. But he's not playing Winnipeg, so that's a good pick there. Andrew Harris. I finally picked him. Spent money on him. That did nothing for me. John White has looked pretty good for Toronto. Actually, was he, is he the Toronto's best guy right now? Game logs, 12 carries, 84 yards. So he's getting the carries, not a lot of receptions, but getting the fantasy points. Um, and they're playing Saskatchewan, who I think has got a good team. William Powell. Kadeem uh, Carey has always been a guy that I've gone to all season long. He had 11 carries, 40 for only four fantasy points. But that was like his lowest output of the season. And they're going to play Hamilton. Ugh, Hamilton's like Jekyll and Hyde. It's staying away from Sean Thomas Erlington. And I don't like to do Shaq Cooper because I don't want to have Michael Riley and Shaq Cooper. Uh his game log last week, nine care. I mean, he only had four points. So I think I'm going to probably go with John White as my running back there and to pay down on the list. 
I've been I've been going. Uh, DJ Foster hasn't doing too bad for me as as a low. Jackson Bennett, How did he? Oh, geez, no, stay away from him. I'm just looking for a guy that can get me anything. DJ Foster seems to be a guy who, I mean, three carries, but he's got three receptions. He's got a touchdown. I mean, he did go ten carries for hundred yards, but only three. He's not in there, but you really want to play low. Uh, Terry Williams, game log. I mean, two carries. Brady Oliveira not there. So, I I mean, do you pay up for Shaq Cooper? I mean, he's got nine carries. You're going to kind of have to. So we'll go with Shaq Cooper there. I'm not sure about Mike Riley. But if this is going to be a high-scoring game that I'm talking about, then it would kind of make sense. It's just paying a lot for um, running backs. Uh, defense is going. I want to pay down for this. Uh I'll take uh, Hamilton with against Calgary just to pay down for that. And then I got three players will all be wide receivers. But see, this is where I want to pay up for wide receivers. Kamar Jordan played great last week. He's not going to do great again. Do you do a double, triple stack where you get Mike Riley and brought, bring in one of his guys? Brian Burnham has always been good. You pay up for him, but then you got no money left. That's the problem. I might have to get rid of... I might have to get rid of uh, Shaq Cooper and just go with somebody low. But see, even if you pay up for a guy like that, I got three spots and only $6,000 to put in. So you can't really even pay up for one of those big-time guys unless I just ditch Riley and move down. Who am I going to pick? Do you take a, a, a flyer at Nick Arbuckle or Zach Kalaros? I don't think so. So we just stick with Riley. If I could, there's no way he can't even do it. There's not enough, unless I just punt running backs and two K, like just go super cheap on running backs. Oh boy! All right, so if, I mean that's just there's no way. But if Riley is a stinker, then I don't know. Let's go back to uh, what we did before. We'll go Shaq Cooper and John White. And then at running back, we can't, we just can't pay that high price uh, for him. Let's get some guys. I don't even think I still have enough. <sighs> Darvin Adams, has he started to break out yet? Three catches. Finally got a touchdown. He's a guy that could potentially break out. Darvin Daniels. We're just looking for some kind of consistency. But you see seven catches, three catches, great, or six catches, then two. That's just not consistency. Jalen Acklin, we had him last week. I mean, he's getting he's getting the looks. We'll throw him on there because he's got a decent price. Um yeah, look, like we do not have enough money to cover all these guys. I'm gonna have to ditch John White and just go with a cheap running back. Fortunately, who can I get on the cheap for a running back? I'll go with my guy DJ Foster. He's getting me something. Now I have. Uh, 10,000 and 5,000 to spend. So basically a 5,000 wide receiver. So somebody on the low end. Rasheed Bailey, has he done? Game logs. I mean, he's 4-4-4. I mean, he has the chance to break out. So he might be a guy. And then 6,500. What can we get? 6,500. Tavion Smith. Edmonton, that's his game logs. Again, just a crapshoot for this guy. Only one catch. How much is really he involved in the offense at this point? B.J. Cunningham, he's got some consistency. We'll take him. So there's your lineup. Not super excited about it, but just trying to get some decent 
wide receivers going here. Let's see, I have 6,300. 6,300. I'm not seeing anybody that's better. Now with that extra 300, could I move up and really get nobody? I mean, could I move up for Trevor Harris? Nope. Michael Riley, it's it. And it's unfortunate because I would love to throw a wide receiver on there from... Uh, Edmonton, Winnipeg. Oh, I guess they're going. Oh, I guess it goes by game. I'm trying to see if could is it possible that I could? I gotta have some BC Lion guy on there. Brian Burnham, of course, too expensive. I mean, because Lamar Durant is out, I believe, on injured reserve. Shaq Johnson, three thousand four hundred game log. I mean, at five receptions last game on his way back up. That's a guy who might take a low flyer on and instead of Rasheed Bailey. And that gives us extra money to move up. Maybe a better wide receiver. Let's check out the money situation. $7,333, $7,300. Oh, I have $1. Oh, for Ricky Collins Jr., Darvin Adams, or Josh Huff. Hmm, now you're talking. Josh Huff, game log, 5664. Very kind of more on the consistent side, especially with Bo Levi Mitchell back. Darvin Adams is a guy who could potentially break out too. I think we'll go with Josh Huff. That still leaves me with 700 bucks left over. Can I move up? I'm making all sorts of, it's just trying to like shove this in here. 6,700 at wide receiver. Tavion Smith, Edmonton, game log. Eh. Nope, not feeling him. Wish I had enough for Darvin Adams. Tavion Smith, Darvin Adams. And we go back to B.J. Cunningham. And use him, I guess. We still lift 600 on the table. What we can do with that 600 on the table is then move up for, uh, a little bit and use the Alouettes defense even though I'd rather get Calgary. I'm not interested in the Elks. Up for the defense. and then, So there you have it. Tough one to try to fit those wide receivers in. You're trying to find something, you know, but I really like Michael Riley. I mean, he's basically been in, like, the top player all season long if you get the Mike Riley that's his elbow is fine. So you got Michael Riley, Shaq Cooper, DJ Foster, uh, BJ Cunningham, Shaq Johnson, hopefully a good game from him, and Josh Huff and the Montreal Alouettes. Defense for your 29th overall rated fantasy, CFL fantasy guy on the Hamilton Tiger Cats deal there. On to DraftKings. This was what killed me. I pulled out Zach Caleros. I put in, I mean, I pulled out Michael Riley, put in Zach Caleros, and I just got a bust across the whole season. Andrew Harris, I mean, look how many people drafted Andrew Harris, 54.5, and it only got us nine points. Greg Ellingston, I mean, I spent 9,000 on him, got me five more, 45% of the people picked him as well. He did nothing with uh, 11 points. Acklin, nine, he got nine points. Unger, I, I mean, look at that, 4,200, got me seven points. Did better than Ellingson. And the Argos defense got me seven. So I was basically out of it. I mean, I was close in some, some, but still clearly out of it. So let's start a new lineup for this week, my friends. 
What are we saying in the chats? You guys agree with me or what? We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Let's set up. We'll go to leagues. So I just want to say hello to everybody in the chat room. We've got in the YouTube chat, Theodore. Frank is in there. What's up? Rich, hanging out. I appreciate all you guys hanging out with us in the chat. Oh, let me go to the lobby. I appreciate everybody hanging out on Facebook as well. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe on the YouTube, especially just smash, just give us a like because that spreads the word about the CFL. That's the biggest problem with the CFL is just people just don't realize it's there. The game is good. It's fun. You can do fantasy on it. You can do DFS. You can do your gam bet degenerate gambling stuff. But just people just don't know it's there. And that's, that's kind of the problem that I'm seeing with the CFL. All right. So we're going to go to our double ups. That is always the safe bet to win your money. Let's do a, uh, let's do a $5 double up. And we got to think about what we're going to do for this week's games, my friends. It's a lot easier, to be honest with you, to do the DraftKings stuff, in my opinion, than it is to uh, take care of business on the other side when it comes to uh, doing the CFL fantasy. All right. Quarterback situation. I love, I mean, I think BC Lions in Montreal is going to be a big shootout. I mean, look at how cheaper Michael Riley is on this one. I'll take Michael Riley all the way down there. Running back, not interested in Harris, not interested in Powell, Edmonton. Well, let's 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 get our defense first. They got the Elks, Argos, Stampeders at the bottom. Uh, I think Calgary. Uh, the Stampeders will be interesting just because of what Hamilton might bring. And I'm concerned about that. I assume Jeremiah Masoli is going to start. I don't know what they're saying in the chat rooms. I know that hasn't been clear, but it seems like that's what's going to happen. We'll do our Shaq Cooper. I mean, he's only 7,000 down here. I, I, I like my guy, Kerry. I'll always go with Kerry. I mean, yeah, if I can get Kerry at that low, I'll take him. Now, with everything else, I'm going wide receiver. Now, like, I got an average of 7,000. I mean, I would take Brian Burnham. I mean, he's worth, I mean, how is Brandon Banks worth more than Brian Burnham? That's impossible. Ellingson, I'm staying away from him. Anybody playing Winnipeg, I pretty much don't want to have anything to do with. Uh, I like, I'm just trying to see if we can, I mean, I, I like, lucky how Whitehead is one of my guys, too. His game log, I mean, he gets you 20 points. He gets you 12, 20. I mean, he's he's a guy. I like him. I think he'll have a good game. Get him on the cheap. Acklin, we were talking about. Kamar Jordan, <laughs> you can get him on the cheap just because now you got Bo Levi Mitchell back. Uh, so we got the Lucky Whitehead, Mike Riley combo, which will be a good one. Still have 7,000 left over. Like This is like Kenny Lawler Jr., Winnipeg. Can I get him? Look at his game logs. Five catches, two catches, six. He's a good one. Kenny Lawler. And then I got 8,000 to use on a, on a good wide receiver. I can do John White, who's... What's, what's his numbers? The game log, Toronto. 12 catches. I mean, oh, 12 attempts. He's Oh, running back. That's right. I'd rather take him at running back, to be honest with you. Well, no, because mm, I'd rather get a good wide receiver. Who can we get? Lewis, Montreal. What, what's he done? Eugene Lewis, game logs. Five catches, five catches. I mean, he did blew up, he totally blew up that 32 game. But that's with two touchdowns. And if I think it's going to be a big, bar, you know, big time game with a lot of scoring. Adams, his game, he just, he's starting to come around. He would be somebody that I would get on the cheap. I mean, you got more. He's been consistent. So Kyrian Moore, take him. Got 500 left over. 
I mean, if anything, I mean, could I move up the running back position? Shaq Cooper, even though I'm taking that in other places, I'll take Kerry in there. Uh, I'll probably just take that extra money. Honestly, I really like this lineup a lot. Uh, I'll take the, the Tiger Cats defense. And there you go. Michael Riley, Kadeem Carey, Lucky Whitehead, going for that BC Lion connection. Kamar Jordan, hopefully he can have another big game back-to-back. Usually you guys don't do that. Kenny Lawler Jr. with Winnipeg against Edmonton. And Kerryon Moore with Saskatchewan. Hopefully Cody Fajardo plays. If, Kerian, if Cody Fajardo is out, which is not looking like the case there, Fajardo is questionable. Uh... That hasn't been updated in a while, but I have a feeling he's going to be back, that that's what we'll, we'll go with. And there is your lineup for DFS this week. Check it out. Hopefully you guys do well as well as me. We'll be back with your social media stuff right after this. Stay tuned, my.